Check it out, Simpson. Check it out. Now, full disclosure, people. Now, I spoke to XXXTentacion recently. Yo, he's been going through a tough time. His cousin got shot. They canceled his tour. There's a lot going on. But he told me when I spoke to him, he said, yo, academics, man, I can't wait till you see my double XL free. So I can't wait till you see my motherfucking cypher. And I said, ah, I don't know if none of you niggas could rap like that. Even though I know at times you could rap, I don't know. Now he said, no, 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 okay? I ain't coming on no dumb shit. I got a message, I got a point, and I got it across very clearly. And I said, okay, I'll wait and see. Now, his double XL freestyle is out, okay? And all of these freestyles are about a minute, and he did not waste a fucking second because he had a point to everything he was saying. Now, I could quickly recite the verse if you guys care, even though there's a particular part we're going to delve into. But he says, and hell is just a government creation, and all the information they solicit isn't nearly close to the truth. It was clear since the alteration of the books our children study when they said Columbus discovered America. Oh, the ultimatum of Telling you the truth, but oh well, I'm already in hell. I'm tired of having patience, so I'ma sell my soul and say some shit that fucking bothers you. Jesus wasn't white nor black, I can't knock it. Was somewhat an Arab and one hell of a prophet. Don't understand why J. Cole talking about false prophets, but didn't mention higher ups. Change your name to Amber Cole. These fucking entertainers is playing it by the rules, sucking government dick for safety to stay cool. I'm absolutely disgusted. By all you motherfuckers, tie your throat to a truck bed and pedal the metal quick. Now, clearly this is easily the most in-depth freestyle of everyone who did a freestyle on a double XL uh, freshman list. But it's also well-written. And I'm going to say well-written even though I know it's a freestyle because, come on, we all know they write it, right? But we got to be honest, man. What is he saying, especially when he mentions J. Cole? He's saying that J. Cole made a song called False Prophets where J. Cole was calling out Kanye West. Kanye West himself referred to himself as Jesus, basically was kind of lining himself with a deity or a god. And you hear X criticizing that, talking about, I don't know why J. Cole talking about false prophets, but he didn't mention the higher ups. Obviously, X is saying, forget about the people who are aligning themselves with God. How about the people who are really just bowing down and just a puppet for the higher ups, the government, okay? And if you're wondering how that really connects to J. Cole, it connects to J. Cole because J. Cole had a song called High for Hours, and that particular song really focused on how J. Cole was basically kind of a puppet for Barack Obama. Barack Obama had an initiative, the My Brother's Keeper initiative, And J. Cole was a proponent of that because he had spoken with Barack Obama. And X is just calling it out like, yo, how hypocritical are you for criticizing people who say and align themselves with God when you yourself is pushing an agenda because you're aligned with the government? Okay, again, we know that X is an anti-establishment guy. He's an anti-system guy. He's really like the anti-everything of music and just culture. So when he's seeing people being hypocritical in their comments about other people aligning themselves with whatever higher power, he's then looking at J. Cole and say, Cole, you did the fucking same. You're doing an Amber Cole. If you don't know Amber Cole, Amber Cole was like a, a teenager who was sucking dick on camera. He's saying that, yo, you were sucking dick for the government and nobody batted an eye. However, now you're criticizing people and you're criticizing niggas like Kanye because he was aligning himself with the higher power. You yourself is aligned with some shit. And I understand what X is saying. I definitely understand it. And that's why we're all hypocritical because usually when we preach a message, no matter how, it's a good message because the message that J. Cole preached about Kanye is a good message. But it's about practicing what you preach. J. Cole himself is kind of politicized. He has some political alignment, all right? And it's clear by that particular song where he was in the presence of Barack Obama. So I can't even lie. X has a point. My only thing is this. X has this anti-philosophy. He's kind of anti a lot of stuff. I'm wondering where he stands because he doesn't stand on an island. His beliefs and his views might align with other people, but he is the rebel that is insistent on pointing out to everybody else that they are being hypocrites. And to be honest, they're being either controlled or manipulated or they're furthering a propaganda for someone else.
So I would like to know where X exactly stands on the things that he believed, even though he kind of said it and he was saying that it's the government and, of course, all these other higher powers. So so you guys let me know. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Bojack Academics. I'm up.